Hello, welcome to Stop Gap Home Practice. And this dance class with two way translation. Hello and welcome to Stop Gaps Home Practice. This is essentially an example of working translation in a dance class. Nadan and I have selfishly created exercises that suit us and then we've asked the other person to translate. You will see a split screen throughout the episode, so you can choose which version best suits you. You also will see when translating Lucy and I consider the effort and the motivation of the exercise more than shape and direction of the exercise. And that's what we want you to do. We want you to get the most out of these exercises and make sure that they suit your body and your home practice. I am Nadan. I am a wheelchair artist and teacher. So today I'm wearing a black vest and with black trouser and I have a tiger tattoo. My name is Lucy. I'm a white non-disabled dancer with stopgap. I have dark curly hair and I'm wearing a black jumpsuit and I'm in a light bright room. So let's get moving. Settle yourself into your working position. We're going to start with some really simple mobilizations of the joints. You can copy me, you can copy Nadan, or you can put them both together. Take a deep breath in. And out. We're going to start with our lower body. Circling for eight counts. You can do as many as you want to do in that eight. And reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The other side, I'm circling the ankle and the Dan is circling the wrist, massaging the balls of the feet and the cushions of the hand. And the other way. And then we're coming to our knees. Or we're wiping an imaginary table with our wrists flexed. Circling one way. And then reverse one, two, three, four, five. Nadan is painting an imaginary wall in front of him with his wrists flexed. And then we're going to go to our central point. I'm circling the hips. Nadan's pushed up in his chair and is making some space for some circles. One way. And then the other. Try not to block the rest of the body. Let the movement echo. We're just warming up. Seven, eight. Moving to the shoulders, squeezing up and down for a count of eight. Start to waken up the breath. And then we're reversing it. And don't forget to look away from the screen. Take in your surroundings. Seven, eight. And then we're gonna circle the head. We're gonna imagine 
that we're drawing a circle with our nose, a very small circle around a coin and then around a dinner plate, so a little bit bigger and then around a big symbol and then reversing nice wide circle ever decreasing to a small circle of the nose really nice Next, we're gonna try a fold and float exercise. The motivation for this exercise is warming up the joints with folds and waking up the balancing skills. If you need an audio description for this exercise, skip forward to the next timestamp. And if you're translating, use my spine as a guide. We're gonna fold on the first side and float the arm to the screen and then out to the side. Repeat on the other side, fold and out to the side. We're gonna fold in both ankles, roll the shoulders up, roll through the feet, and then gradually resist as we recover. Let's try that again. Melt on the first side and open to the first side. Melt on the second side, float in the arm, out to the second side. We roll through the shoulders and the feet. And if you've got room for more, find a high release as you lower. From here, I press into my base and I change levels. Nadan is going up and I'm going down into a deep fold with my arms outstretched. We both recover. Now I'm going to imagine that there's water coming out of my ear on the first side and find a tilt with the spine. I'm going to try that on the other side. If you've got room for more, why not add a diagonal stretch of the arms? Nice. And if you've got room for more, again, see if you can find a balance by floating the knee or just going a little bit further away from your central point. Let's go back to the top. Ready and melt on the first side, floating out to the second. Melt on the second side, floating out to the second. Roll through the feet and the shoulders up to the ears, gradually lower. Press to change levels. Recover. Tilt with the balance. Recover. Tilt with the balance. Recover. From here, we're going to fold and then we're going to melt the chest towards the lap. And then as if there's a water fountain coming out of the top of your head, right from your base, you're going to ripple through the spine, stretch the arms up to the sky, and then with some weight in the elbows and the sits bones, find a little bounce to finish. Let me just do that bit again. I melt and I soften. I ripple through, stretching the arms to the sky and then a little drop and a buoyant bounce. From then, we're gonna try it in different bases. I'm gonna try a rotation in what they call classical first, and then a classical second, which is a wider rotation, finishing off in a wide parallel. Nadan's gonna show you some bases too. So, we're gonna try it with the music and you'll hear an audio description. Feel free to do it full out or mark it, and then we'll do it all together a few times. You're going to hear some music and it sounds like dappled sunlight. Deep breath in. In an upright position, Lucy melts one side, floating the first arm into a front curve and out to the side. She repeats. 
rolls through the feet, shoulders circle up to the ears and down as she lowers. She folds deeply, arms outstretched wide to the side as if sliding down a wall into a crouch and recovers back to standing. Spine tilts to one side and arms become diagonal. Knee floats to a balance, repeats the other side. Both knees fold, Lucy curves head to stomach and a wave ripples through the spine to recover, elbows drop. Okay, let's go through it all together. Find your working position. The music's gonna go back. Deep breath in. Here we go. And melt. Float the arm out. Melt. Float the arm out. Roll through. And lower. Press to change levels and recover. Side stretch. Don't worry if you fall. Fold, ripple and drop. Changing base. Ready? Off we go and fold. Open wide, start taking up space. Really nice. Changing levels. Sideways tilt. Fold, curve, ripple. Changing base. Ready? Off we go. And float. Nice and easy. Changing levels. Sideways pull. one nice wide shape here we go and melt and open melt and open fall roll high release and lower changing levels and sideways tilt Take up space and melt, curve, ripple and drop. Let's just reverse those bases. Back to our working position and just take a moment in your upright position to notice how you feel now you've done your first exercise. Good work. Thank you, Lucy. So right now I'm going to teach my articulation exercise. So this exercise, it is about a articulation and isolation. It is fast, but you can edit it to suit you. Cool. So, right now, just to find your own working position and have a check us around your room. And then, when you're ready, have a tap on this side. So, we're going to start, start from this side. Cool. So, I'm going to show you. So, I grab my front bar to transfer my weight like this. And then I kind of like a on this side, I then slip and then switch to another side. Yep. 
and then when after I uh, switch to another side, and I gonna on this side, I gonna grab on the top of my wheel, and then grab on the top of my wheel, and then from here, I gonna lift my front wheel off the floor, and then put back in, and then I gonna grab my front bar to transfer my weights again, have a quick drop, and come back. So that is the whole, the whole for uh, the first uh, chunk of this uh, articulation exercise. Okay, so right now, let's do it together. So, I grab my front bar to transfer my weight. I slip on this side and switch to another side. I grab, I grab, and I lift my front wheel off the floor, put it back in, grab the front bar, to transfer my weight and then a quick drop and come back in. But it's not that slow with the music. So, but when I'm teaching, it just, I just would like to break down a little bit that to make sure that you got this. Okay, let's try one last time. So we have, so prepare yourself and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think that's it. So that's the first chunk. Let's move on, moving on to the second one. So after you come back up uh, to the center, so we're gonna start from on this side again. So we have a kind of like a big scoop to the back, so a big scoop to the back and then reaching forward, forward and rotate out and put it back into the center. And then you're gonna do exactly the same movement, but you're gonna do from another side. So, scoop to the back, reaching to the front, rotate out and put it back in. So, for the scoop here, if you have more space, try to use your eye to follow your uh, limbs. So, let's clear the files again for the second one. So, scoop to the back, reaching forward, rotate out, and put it back in. Swap to another side, scoop to the back, reaching forward, rotate out, and put it back in. So, so right now, we're gonna try with the count. So you have four counts from each side. So we have, prepare yourself, and we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One last time, so we have, and, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is the second one. So, the last one, number three. So, after you scoop to the back, back into the center, so from this one, I'm gonna show you. So, we have, so I'm gonna knock my wrist to the side. So, knock, come back, grab my front bar, switch to another side. So, knock and then grab my front bar. And then from here, so from here, I gonna, so drop, come back in, and a small shift backward. Yep, one last time. So it's go, ta, 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 that's it. Okay, one last time with the count. So it's go, one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, that is the last one of a, the, my articulation exercise. So right now, shall we go from ooh, number one, number two, number three, all that three together. So yes, let's go back to your own space. So from the top, so prepare yourself. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four. Five, six, seven, eight. That is the whole thing, everyone. So if you're not sure what you are doing, please allow yourself to pull and practice. 
Right now, we're gonna uh, kind of march through with music, and then you can feel the rhythm with the music as well. And then uh, we will do the, the audio description for later on. So this is the music. So that how's that fast, yeah? Cool. So right now, we're gonna do with the music, with the audio description. Sitting front and upright, hands grip front bar. Slip, slip, hands recover to tires. Folded wheelie, front wheel strike. Nadan bows with a chop, scooping one arm behind and passes his chin, spiralling fingers, repeats the other side. Flexed wrist, slices across the lower torso, repeats the other side. A chopped bow, he snatches his wheels, travels backwards. Very good. Let's do it again. Let's do both sides. If you're not quite sure, just allow yourself to pull and practice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good, everyone. That is the whole thing of the, my articulation exercise. So let's grab some water and the next exercise is to go to Lucy. Thanks Nadan. So next up is a long limbs exercise. The motivation is all about lengthening and strengthening those limbs. If you need an audio description, skip forward to the next timestamp. Now, if you're working in a small space, make sure you work to the direction that best suits those long limbs of yours. So you don't have to be facing the same way that I'm facing. So let's settle in our working position again. And we're gonna send the long limb forward, back, forward, hover, bring it into the center, send it behind us and counterbalance with our skull. And I've got a little fold in my ankle and my knee. From here, I'm gonna transfer back and I'm gonna lengthen up my first side arm towards the sky. From here, I'm gonna fold everything in. I'm gonna send it away. And then like a wave, I'm gonna to tumble towards the screen before finding myself in a wide position. Let's try that again. It was quite a lot, wasn't it? So we're gonna send the limbs Forward and back, forward, back, forward, hover, bring it into the center, send it out to the back. Then we're gonna lean back, transfer the weight, lengthen the first arm, bring it in, in a balance, send it away, stretch, wave towards the screen and find your way into a wide shape. My wide shape is so I can stretch my hips. So Nadan has got his wrist on his hip bone and I've got my toes lifted. And then from here, I'm gonna scoop my second side arm up and over my head like a rainbow. I'm gonna fold and really try and open up the space in my first hip. 
From here, I reach even further, curve round to a deep fold in what we call a second position. I recover, rolling up through the spine and then dropping down, ready to turn. So you might want to put your hands on your wheel if you're turning. If you're a standing dancer, I've floated my front arm to a curve to the screen and my second arm is out to the side, ready to turn. Let's go from the top. And forward, back, forward, hover it in, send it behind, transfer, stretch, fold it in, reach it out, wave towards the screen, find your way into a wide position for the hip stretch. Scoop, two, three, four, fold wide, ripple through, prepare. Excellent. From here, we're gonna turn with the leg trailing. And I want you to think about turning from your central column, your spine. Here we go. Whoosh. Then if you've got room, you're gonna find that extra long stretch of all your limbs. And we're gonna finish with a swipe of the arms and an outward round kick. And then shift back to try the other side. So I'm gonna give you a little moment to practice. Let's try it on the other side and then we'll mark it through with the audio description. So we send the limb forward, back, forward, hover it in, send it away, lengthen, fold it in, stretch, wave to the screen. Find your way into your wide hip stretch, toes lifted, wrist on your hip, scoop, two, three, four, into your fold, wide sits bones if it's useful to you, ripple, prepare with your hands on your wheels, ready for that turn, long, 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 space in the waist, and then, Really nice. Pause and practice if you need to. If you wanna just go full out, you can do it with the audio script description, which is coming up next. You're gonna hear the track of music, which is a little bit like cycling through a breeze on a warm, sunny day. Like a pendulum, the leg swings forward and back, forward to hover. Folding from knee, the foot passes through, lengthens at the back, skull counterbalances. Arm outstretched. Lucy falls into a lunge, finds a wide fold. Arm overhead in a tilt. Head rolls to the front, deepening fold. Up with a breath, the spine ripples. Prepares for a turn with leg trailing. Lean back. Outward swipe of leg and arms overhead. Really nice. Did you get the rhythm? It's actually a bit faster than maybe you anticipated. And if that's the case, just keep those long limbs long, but low, it doesn't have to go high. Okay, let's try all together. We'll do first side and second side. Off we go. Head to the screen, stretch, fold, reach, wave, wide shape, scoop, two, three, four, find that fold, little ripple, prepare, turn, long waist. Second side, off we go. Stretch, fall, reach. Wide shape, scoop. Wide sit bones. 
ten. Really nice. If you want to go back and do that again, I suggest you really think about reaching those limbs out of your bubble. Particularly, I like to think about stretching from the insteps or from the center of the palms. And also, keep it nice and easy. Don't block when you do it. And that final tip, make sure you turn from your spine. It really helps you to turn. Thank you so much, Lucy, for a long limb exercise. So to finish with, I would like to teach you a dance sequence that the movement that we have been working together. So allow yourself to change your uh, different uh, direction or different diagonal in your room. So for me, I'm going to choose to start with from this diagonal. Some of the movement you might recognize already from uh, Lucy exercise and my exercise as well. So, but first, I just would like you to have a look at me first. So I'm going to show you the first one. So I grab my front bar to transfer my weight and then slip, slip, grab the top of my wheel, grab the top of my wheel, find a balance and then my eye keep looking straight forward. And then I shift forward at the same time, pull my spine to come back up in the center. Yep, that is the first one. So right now, let's learn that together. So find your own working position. So I grab my front bar to transfer my wake and then slip on this side, slip to another side. I grab the top of my wheel. I grab the top of my wheel to find a balance. My eye looking straight forward, shifting forward. At the same time, rip pull my spine and come back up to the center. That is the first uh, chunk of my uh, fray. So have a look at the second fray. Sorry, the second chunk. So from here, after I rip pull my spine, come back to the center, I gonna bring my arm over my head grab my front bar straight away, and another side, and grab my front bar straight away. And from here, I can repeat a quick drop, quick drop, and come back, in, uh, back into the center and find my balance. Yep, one last time for the second one. So we have your arm over your head, grab the front bar, your arm over your head, grab the front bar, a quick drop, come back, to the center with your balance. Good, let's do one and two together. So, prepare yourself and then I grab my front bar and then slip, slip, grab, grab, balance, eyes looking straight forward, shifting straight away with your spine, come back up and arm, arm, quick drop, with your balance. Nice one. Let's move to number three. So after you find your balance here, the number three, so allow yourself for this side to reach to the diagonal. It's a soft reach. So soft reach, reach, reach. And then I would like you to pull your elbow in to your, uh, to your hip. So soft reach, pull your elbow in, and then a quick reach, pull your elbow back in, and then on this hand here, I kind of grab my front bar to turn towards the camera. That is the number three. So, number four. So after you face to the, the, the camera, so you kind of like have a pull for two seconds, and then you're gonna do a quick reach to the ceiling. So quick reach to the ceiling and kind of slap on your lap. So again, here, here. And then from here, I would like to repeat your arm over your head again. So arm over your, your head, grab the front bar. Your arm over your head, grab the front bar. And then drop, 
and come back. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I forgot one thing that I would like to add on. So, you know, after you drop, and I would like you to float in your arm to finish. Okay, let's repeat the last bits again. So, when you face to the camera, so you reach out first. So you reach, you reach to the ceiling. So reach to the ceiling, slap your hand on your lap, arm over your head, arm over your head, drop and float your arm to finish. That's the one. Very good. Let's do all that together. So we have one, two, three, four together. Let's find your own working positions again with your different direction. So, prepare yourself. And go. Slip, slip, grab, grab. Balance, shifting, rip, pull your spine at the same time. Come back, up. Your arm over your head, your arm over your head. Drop, come back in with your balance. Soft reach. And quick elbow in and reach out, in. Turn your face to the camera. A quick break to the uh, ceiling, slap, repeat your arm over your head, another one, and drop, and floating your arm to finish. So that is the whole uh, sequence, everyone. So if you're not quite sure, please allow yourself to pull and practice. So let's try uh, with the music, and then we're gonna mark it through, and then the audio de description will come up as well. Find your own working position, prepare yourself, and when you're ready, on a diagonal, hands slip, slip down the front bars, recover onto wheels, folded wheelie, pushes forward, spine ripples through, two front crawls with the arms, chopped bow, recover to upright, tentative balance, slowly extending the front arm on the diagonal, leading with the fingers, in, out, faces front, scoops, arm behind and onto wheels, sudden throw of both arms up, a circle that echoes with another, chopped bow, hands float and settle on the lap. Very good, let's do it again. Prepare yourself and go. Very nice. I quite enjoy it, everyone. I would like to do one last time. Then yeah? one, one last time. Prepare yourself. Hands slip, slip down the front bars. Recover onto wheels. Folded wheelie pushes forward. Spine ripples through. Two front crawls with the arms. Chopped bow. Recover to upright. Tentative balance. Slowly extending the front arm on the diagonal. Leading with the fingers. In, out, faces front, scoops, arm behind and onto wheels, sudden throw, both arms up, a circle that echoes with another chopped bow, hands float and settle on the lap. Very good, very good. That is the whole sequence of, uh, for the, the, the last one. So, for another, so let's go to a, do some stretch with Lucy. Thanks, Nadan. I really like the detail of that exercise. So. Let's cool down. If you want to keep practicing, you can. Just pause the video or go back and start again. If you're ready for a cool down, let's stretch it out. You can follow Nadan's version, you can follow my version, or you can put them together. Nice wide shape. We're gonna find a figure of eight in the shoulders. I'm gonna take mine down to the ground so that I can get into my hips. All that lovely space we've created through this class. And I'm gonna let my head trail 
Knees over third toe. And from here, we're gonna find a deep stretch, a lunge, one limb forward, one back. And I open up my heart to the ceiling. Looking at the back arm, it's gonna come over, find a little stretch here, and send it round to stretch out the other side, one limb forward, one limb back. But this time I'm gonna take a bind, spiraling round. From here I'm going to find another bind, I'm going to cross the limbs over, I'm just stretching out my glutes by pulling my knee up towards my skull. I'm going to find another stretch and find a stretch that's useful to you. I'm finding the pigeon stretch. Make sure your foot is active to protect your knee, so flex that foot, long spine. Hang over if you want to. From here, I'm going to stretch my limbs out, hanging over. Try not to judge your stretches. You're just giving your body a chance to cool down. Stacking up through the spine. I'm just gonna find my way back to my starting position to do it on the other side. And this time I'm not gonna talk. Find your own stretches or copy me and the dance.
I hope you enjoyed that. If you're interested in finding out more about Stopgap's translation methods, why not check out our YouTube channel and the Home Practice video Shorts Translation by Laura Jones. Thank you for joining us. We would love to see your version of our two-way translation. Why not you tag Stopgap Dan in your social media? Like, subscribe, and join us again for another home practice.